Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing, well, you read the title, we're going to be doing random de generation, well, random terrain generation, and uh, in this video, uh, we're just going to do the basics, like, we're not going to make it very optimized for actually, like, using it for games, I'm just going to, like, uh, explain the basics of random terrain generation, and yeah, okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do is make a folder in the workspace. I'm just gonna call this new ter. Actually, I'm just gonna get rid of this terrain. Delete. Oh wait, I can't get rid of it. Okay, then I'll just call it new terrain. Let's go with what, what I was thinking of doing. Oh gosh. Okay, new terrain. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is make a new script in server script service. Okay. And I'm gonna call this script uh, train generator. Okay. So first, we're gonna have to define some variables. The first thing is how like far it is on the x-axis. So I'm just gonna say local rows is equal to 10 for now. Actually, I'm gonna say 100. And then local columns, and this is gonna be for the z-axis is equal to a hundred columns as or is equal to a hundred as well and then uh we're gonna say detail which is like how detailed the terrain is i'm just gonna set that to one and we're gonna say amplitude that's how like um how like wave i guess not really wavy but like how high the hills are i guess it's not really that easy to explain if you don't have something to show and this is I'm gonna explain this later, but zoom. Okay, I'm gonna set zoom to uh, uh, 75. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do is actually create the um, uh, thing that generates the terrain. So I'm gonna say local or fun uh, function gener generate. What is that? I spelled it correct. Generate. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so um, first thing we're gonna do is say for, this is gonna be for loop, and uh, this is how you create a for loop. So we have to define a variable, so for x, I'm just gonna call the variable x, and um, we're gonna say x equals, and then we're gonna set this start value, which is gonna be zero, the end value, which is gonna be rows, oh, and the increment, which is gonna be detail. Okay. Then we're gonna do the same thing for uh, the z-axis. So for z equals zero, col oh, columns detail. Okay, now we're gonna say, er, actually, we need to create another function before we can do this. This is gonna create the part that we're gonna represent, we're gonna put. So we're gonna say function create part. And why I have to make a function for it is because, well, there's a lot of things that you need to do to make a part that has a position, a size, a uh, anchored, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna create a function for it. So in this function, we're gonna say the um, inputs are gonna be x, y, z, and that's all. Okay, so in here, we're gonna say local part is equal to instance dot new and this is going to be a part and the and you can see here it has a string value which is uh, what it is and it has an instance parent so we're going to say workspace dot new terrain which is our little folder here okay now we're going to say part dot anchored is equal to true part dot size is equal to d uh, vector three dot new detail 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 and then part dot pos uh, part dot position I don't know why that's not why it's not autocomplete is equal to vector oh, vector three dot new and it is going to be uh, x or x y and z okay so um and we're gonna use the amplitude later i'll show you uh what we're gonna do with it okay and zoom okay so we're gonna say in this function we're gonna say create part 
and we're gonna say uh, we're gonna give it the X and the Z so but the um, this is the weird part we're gonna say for the Y we're gonna say math dot noise X and Z okay so what math dot noise is is it gives like I can't really under I can't really explain it to you it's kind of random but it's not random at the same time uh, it's Perlin noise I can't yeah I, I really can't explain it um, but it, it it's what most people use for generating terrain and uh, it can take in three values or it can take in one value, two values, or three values. Um, but for this, we're just going to use two values because we already have two values, the X and the Z. So that's going to get us a um, no that's going to get us a noise value, which is going to be our Y value. And yeah, so now let's run it. Oh, also, don't make the rows and columns more than like 200, probably. Even that's probably a little much because uh, this this way of generating terrain is very bad because we have to we have to make so many parts and do so many things for them. So and we have to use math dot noise a lot, which can sometimes uh, take a lot of CPU and so yeah. Uh, as you see, it is just flat. Why do you think that is? Well, if you can't think of anything look at the terrain uh, can I get a good angle uh, I can't get a good angle um okay well okay I'll, I'll just have to tell you what happened okay there there there, there. If you can see uh, I can't find anything okay well it is indeed uh, going up and down it's just that, um, actually, wait, no, it's not. What am I saying? What am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so uh, we forgot something because the noise is out of a certain thing. So X out of what? And this is where our zoom comes in. First of all, let's just try 10. Let's see what that looks like. And uh, yeah, okay. So as you can see, it's like, it's very very like these are hills if you cannot very see that very well and that's because our amplitude isn't applied anywhere so it's going to be like pretty much flat so we're going to have to add our amplitude so x times amplitude and just so that we can actually see it i'm going to add on like 25 so that it'll actually be above ground okay so this is uh, what we've generated. It is a ton of hills because the zoom isn't high. This is what the zoom looks like now because it's not zoomed in that much. So we have to zoom it, zoom it in more. So let's divide it by zoom and divide it by zoom. Okay. So now if we run it, this is a lot more smooth. It looks a lot more uh, actual actually that's not even a thing I can't say that it doesn't that doesn't work I can't see more actually but it's not it's not good but um this is more yeah it's just it's just better <laughs> because it is not like it's just not like this it's like or more like You can see what I'm doing with my mouse. <laughs> so that is nice. And I will show you guys what happens when I do 200. Even that takes a little bit longer. My computer is, is like a, a fan now. Um, so this is what 200 looks like. It is very hard on my PC, but this is what 200 looks like. I would not recommend doing this. It is not for the, 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 the PCs out there, like a anything out there actually. Pr any, anything that yeah, yeah, pretty much anything out there. It's it's not a, it's 
please don't use this in your game. I'm going to make a second part to this where it actually is better and actually can run like like 20 to like 100,000 blocks and it's not even it like it won't even hurt your PC at all. So that is nice and that will be it for this video. This uh, game will be in the description. It is uncopy locked, so you guys can just um, click on it and click edit, and you have everything. So, yeah, that will be it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.